Howdy once again, it's Tubal Cain, and this is episode number three of my Myth Breakers series. And if you haven't seen the first uh, two of those, please do as so. Number one was about crescent wrenches and how to use them properly and how not to abuse them, although I abuse one and break it. In that, uh, and I was greatly criticized for that, even though I have hundreds of them. And uh, the number two was, uh, is it okay to put sugar in a gas tank and what will it do to the engine but this number three is all about removing rust on the handlebars of a bicycle and can we do it with coca-cola and here's a rusty handlebar when we were kids we had used bicycles never did have a new one until I was an adult and uh, they usually had rusty handlebars because I suppose our bicycles were from the 30s and 40s they were really old, big fat balloon tires, and they were rusty, and uh, not that a child cares that much, but uh, often we'd hear from full-grown men, you boys can remove that rust by simply using uh, Coca-Cola. Well, we didn't have a Coca-Cola, didn't have a nickel. Occasionally we'd get a Coke, but we sure weren't going to waste it on our handlebars. So I never did try it, and I'm highly skeptical thereof. And uh, here's a case of Coke. You can, uh, well, half a case. You can get it super cheap. It's probably uh, 20 cents a can when you buy it like this uh, at a grocery store. However, it'll be two bucks if you buy it at a convenience store, if you're foolish enough to buy it in a convenience store. And uh, there it is. Of course, we got it in a uh, bottle when we were kids, if we could get it. Now what's in a Coca-Cola? It isn't really going to tell you much on the can. By the way, it's Halloween time here in Illinois and in 2016. But essentially what is in here is 99% carbonated water. It's just water with CO2 in it. High fructose corn syrup was just, just a horrible product, even though we're in corn country here, and that's a good part of what our corn is used for. But, uh, and if you want a good Coke, with real sugar you have to buy a Mexican Coke and they're wonderful what a difference I've talked about that before you know this is this is good but it's nothing like a real Coke with uh, cane sugar but there's also a flavorings in here and some of it's secret but there's vanilla and there's uh, traces of orange and lime and uh, lemon and nutmeg and, and who, who knows what else but we used to hear citric acid was in here now I don't really know if there still is citric acid but nothing that I mentioned other than citric acid could possibly have any effect whatsoever on rust. This uh, set of handlebars came from a garage sale. It was free. You know, here in America bicycles are a dime a dozen. You pick them up along the curb. Kids get a new one when they get rusted. They have no need to remove rust. And uh, I'm going to try to break that myth. I don't believe it'll work. Uh, we'll see if you do. And uh, so this was free. I threw the rest of the bike away. But you can get a nice bike for 5 or $10 at, at any garage sale around here. And I'm sure it's the same around the whole country. And uh, hardly anybody rides a bike anyway. Kids sure don't ride bikes. You don't see them much on the street. But I'm getting a sidetrack there because here's what I want to do. I'm going to try removing this rust in several ways. Of course, as a child, you wanted to take some Coke, put it on a rag, and wipe it off. And you were delusional enough to think that that would happen. So I'm going to try several things here. One, I'm going to wipe it here presently with some Coca-Cola. And number two, I'm going to have to saw this up a little bit into smaller pieces, and then I'll put it in a, a pan, and we're going to let it soak overnight, maybe even uh, two days. I, I don't like to waste too much time on this. Cause quite honestly, what do you people think? Is something going to happen? with that rust or not. So to start with, let me go over to the bandsaw and off camera I will remove some of the worst of the rust. And this wasn't very rusty when I bought it. What I did is I threw it in our bushes here in the dirt and I would throw some water on it whenever I thought of it right into the dirt. I kind of stomped it in there and then over a period of the summer, this took all summer to get this much rust on it. Perhaps three months I've been working on this or nature has been working on it. So I think I'll cut off uh, 
several pieces here with that have the rust on it that have come through the chrome plating. This of course is steel tubing that has been chrome plated. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be right back. You know the original Coca-Cola had cocaine or something in it. That's well over a hundred years ago. But uh, let's give it a try here. And uh, there'll be no, no meatloaf here tonight because I had to borrow this meatloaf Pyrex deal. So uh, might need two cans, but to start with, this is just warm, but it shouldn't make any difference. I'm just going to take a little uh, coke on a rag. Got quite a bit of rust right here. Because as a kid, of course, we weren't going to be able to soak this. We just had to put it on a rag and wipe the rust off. Now I'm not going to use steel wool or a scotch bright or anything like that because that in itself would take most of the rust off. So we're just using this as if it was acid or you know some kind of rust remover. And of course as I predicted we got a bit of a, of a reflection there but you know nothing came off and there's nothing on the rag except coke. So the myth is busted on this. However, I'm not done here. I'm going to take this piece of handlebar that I cut off. There's quite a bit of rust on that. It really rusted inside, by the way, where there was no plating, but that might have even been a byproduct of the plating process. Not so rusty on this side. But I'm going to put it in the meatloaf pan. Now there's no reaction going on there. That's just carbon dioxide. And I'm going to need to, I'm going to have to waste another can. Nope, they all fell out on the floor. By the way, you know it costs about 20 cents for a can of this. When you buy it in bulk. Maybe a quarter. I'm going to break this down as to what it costs. It's got a tenth of a cent worth of water in it, a penny's worth of high fructose. The can itself, I bet, is worth 10, 12, even 15 cents. So I'm predicting that the container, like Pringles, costs far more than the product. This looks impressive, though, when I pour it in there with all of that foam, like it's going to do something. And today is Monday, so... That's all I'm going to do for today. Look at it bubble and froth. Oh this, this, oh, this is going to take it off. I know it is when we come back. I'll look at it Tuesday, and then if, it, if the rust isn't off by Wednesday, I will declare this myth broken, busted. So see you in uh, one day. I'm back again, and this is day two of this little experiment. So I'm going to take the uh, part of the handlebar out of the Coca-Cola here. Probably going to be as sticky as can be. Rinse it off. That's just clear water. So I don't have to... I don't like sticky. Dry that off just a little bit here. See what we got. And it did not phase the rust. I take it back. It took off that superficial rust. There's a little bit of rust here. It took off that that light rust. I'm surprised. Now I'm going to scrub this real rusty part just a little bit here with this coarse shop rag. My goodness. It took some of that rust off. I am shocked. Absolutely shocked. There wasn't much out here. Alright, that is extremely interesting. 
Now I'm not using abrasives or a wire brush or anything again because that would take any rust off. We're talking about the Coca-Cola. So I'm really surprised there so what I'm going to do now is put this back in the Coke and then along with this other piece here and there'll be a day three that's tomorrow but I'm only going to make this a three dayer but let's see by putting this in just like that just that part of it in the coke overnight what will happen to that rust tomorrow I'm not sure how well this is showing up because of the reflective nature of this uh, chrome but at this point I'm really surprised that some of that rust came off so be very interesting and I'll see you in 24 hours. Welcome back. It's day three, the final day of this little experiment of, in breaking this myth. Now I got my magnifier out and I looked at the uh, content here again of the can, which is something I couldn't see before. And of course there's phosphoric acid and caffeine in here. So I'm wondering if the caf or the phosphoric acid is the is the actual ingredient that may be removing a little rust. So let me take this out now. First of all this piece. Rinse it real quick here in the water. Remember what that looked like in the last little segment. Now I'm taking a clean bounty towel that's white and wiping it. Again no abrasives. And see what color I get if anything. And there is just a little rusty looking color there. Maybe there would have been if I put it in plain water. I really I should have done that as a control. But I do believe that it has removed some of the rust. Now, as kids some of my friends just painted their handlebars with aluminum paint which looked terrible and never completely dried. Remember that when you do that on aluminum paint. All right, there's one other piece in here and then we're done. So that's been in there. That was the original piece that was actually in for two days. Let me rinse it one more time. And the rinse water is remaining clear. Let me work on that clean spot on uh, the bounty towel. Considerable rusty residue on there. Well, this myth was not broken. Coca-Cola does seem to have some rust removal uh, activity going here. Now you'd, I don't expect it to take off the deep pitted rust and of course it can't do anything where the chrome has failed. You can't bring the chrome back. But that surface rust did come off with Coca-Cola, a paper towel and absolutely no abrasives. I didn't want to introduce that into the uh, equation here. So I found that pretty interesting and I was almost a little disappointed at the results because I thought all these old men that told me that all those years when I was young were just full of baloney but they weren't. Coca-Cola will remove some rust. Now what does it do to your stomach? Nothing because I've been drinking it for 70 years. It still is my favorite but of course the Mexican Coast Coke is far better than this. And this is far better than Pepsi, no offense. And there is a big difference. But you, if you were raised on Pepsi, like some of my friends, they prefer the Pepsi. But if, you, if you've been raised on this, you got to love it. All right, that concludes this video. Myth not broken. Tubal Cain saying so long for now, and I'll see you in my next video.